Good guys, this is Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with Comic Book Speculation and Investing. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, April 11th, 2018. If this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel so that way you'll never miss a future video. Kicking off the week, we got Flash number 44. This is part six to Perfect Storm. Grod rains lightning down on Central City to burn it to the ground. The Flash is as fast as a bolt of lightning. But is he as fast as a thousand? He's gonna have a regular cover by Carmine D. Giannomenico. There's also a regular price variant by David Finch and Danny Mickey. Next, we have Immortal Men number one. This is a new series from DC Comics, headed by Immortal Man. He's waged a war against the House of Conquest for countless years, but Conquest has dealt a devastating blow. When their base of operations, known as the Campus, is savagely attacked, the Immortal Men must seek out their last hope in emerging metahuman known as Caden Park. Kane's emergence power may be able to ensure the Immortal Men's survival, but will Conquest get to him first? Justice League of America number 28. This is part two to Donna Time. Cronus starts traveling through time with Justice League in hot pursuit. At the same time, he's taunting Ryan Choi, getting in his head and trying to convince him he's never going to be the real Adam. Will Ryan be able to overcome Cronus' attack and help his team? Or will time itself forever belong to Cronus? As a regular cover by David Williams, but what I like and why I have this in this video is the regular price variant by Francesco Mattina. Suicide Squad number 39. This is part two to break through the wall. The government loses control of its new military weapon, the wall, and he's rampaging through Washington, D.C. with his sights set on the Capitol building. Rick Flagg is forced to turn back to the Suicide Squad to stop the wall before Washington is in ruins. There's a regular cover by Andy Kubert. There's also a regular price variant by Andrea Sorrentino. Supergirl number 20. Supergirl must fight both Makari and the Outer Dimension Viking Judge to save Director Bones from the fury of the Vikings' magical axe. Meanwhile, with Director Bones out of the picture, Cameron Chase and Laura must break into the DEO to save Veritas before the clock counts down to zero and the Psycho Redactor erases her memories forever. There's a regular cover by Robson Rocca. There's also an art germ variant for this, which is going to be his last Supergirl variant for this run. It's regular priced as well. Crude number one. This is a new series from Image Comics. Killers once feared Piotr Petrovich. Now they send his son home to him. And a body bag. Haunted by his failures, Piotr journeys across Russia to learn what type of man his son really was while hunting the bastards who killed him. And once Piotr finds them, they will learn to fear him once again. Dead Hand number one. This is another new series from Image Comics. This is part one to Cold War Relics. Carter Carlson was a highly decorated operative during the Cold War, but in the fall of 1991 as the Soviet Union collapsed, Carter discovered a secret that not only changed his life, but also altered the course of history. Now as the mysterious dead hand threatens to end the world once again, the only thing standing in its way is the relationship between an old spy and a little boy. Oblivion Song number 2 Nathan's obsession with Oblivion has put a strain on every aspect of his life. His love for Heather is really put to the test now that he's closer than he's ever been to finding out what he's truly looking for. Avengers number 688. This is part 14 to No Surrender. As the final battle for Earth begins, one Avenger will sacrifice everything to give his teammates a fighting chance. There's a regular Mark Brooks cover. There's also a regular price end of an era variant by Chris Sprouse. Captain America number 700. This is the conclusion to Out of Time. Frozen in time, awakened in a decimated future, and once again a man out of his era. There's only one way for Steve Rogers to restore order and rebuild civilization, and that's to rule as King Captain America. No dream, no hoax, no lie. This is Cap, and this is happening, believe it or not. This comic's going to have eight different covers for it. There's a regular Chris Samney cover. There's a black and white Jim Steranko variant. There's a Venom 30th anniversary variant. There's a Blink variant, there's a John Cassidy variant, which is an incentive, there's an incentive Alex Ross variant, there's an incentive Jim Lee remastered color variant, there's also an incentive Jim Lee remastered sketch variant. Doctor Strange number 388. Doctor Strange has tried playing it straight, and he's tried cheating. Is the only way to win Mephisto's game is to not play? While well, he tries to check out of the Hotel Inferno, Wong and the Midnight Suns try to break in. With the souls of the living and the dead on the line, is the Sorcerer Supreme willing to follow his former assistant's lead? There's a regular cover by Mike DeMundo. There's also a Venom 30th Anniversary variant by Chris Stevens. 
Domino number one. This is part one to Bad Luck and Trouble. The product of a failed super soldier program, Nina Thurman always made her own luck as the sharpshooting mercenary known as Domino. But what happens when her own powers betray her? The hunter becomes the hunted as every mercenary in the game smells blood in the water. This is going to have six different covers to it in addition to a crap load of store exclusive variants out there. But shipping with it is going to be a regular Greg Land cover. There's going to be a John Tyler Christopher action figure cover. There's another regular priced variant. There's an incentive David Baldion variant. There's an incentive Rob Liefeld variant. There's also an incentive J. Scott Campbell variant. A lot of people out there love J. Scott Campbell. A lot of people are liking Domino. Domino is going to be showing up in the new Deadpool movie. So I'm going to make the J. Scott Campbell variant my pick of the week. Exiles number one. Nick Fury recruits Blink to protect the multiverse as it comes under an unseen threat. But she can't do it alone. So she's going to recruit a team. Who's going to be in the team? We're going to have to wait and find out. But this is going to have five different covers for it. There's a regular David Marquez cover. There's a Mike McCone regular price variant. There's an incentive Javier Rodriguez variant. There's an incentive Javier Rodriguez design variant. There's also another incentive by Jesus Saez. Thanos number 18. When there's nothing left to kill, death comes to the one who loves her most. King Thanos. At long last, Thanos wins. He's got two different covers for it. There's a regular Jeff Shaw cover. There's also a Venom 30th Anniversary variant by Mike Perkins. Venomized number two. Venom and the X-Men have returned from extraterrestrial adventures of Poison X to find dozens of heroes and villains bonded with the Clintar symbiotes, and none of them are happy about it. The grand plans of the Poisons begins to make themselves known, including their designs for Cletus Cassidy. One Avenger might not make it out in one piece. There's a regular Nick Bradshaw cover. There's a regular price connecting variant by Mark Bagley. There's also an incentive variant by Mark Bagley as well. X-Men Red number three. This is part three to Hate Machine. The battle rages in India and the newest X-Men member may be the key to the team's survival. Gambit is caught up with the intensifying global frenzy of mutant hate. Plus, could one of Jean Grey's oldest friends turn foe? There's going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular Travis Charis cover. There's a regular price Enhock Lee Venom 30th Anniversary cover. There's a regular priced Javier Garon Young Guns variant. There's also a regular priced Travis Charis Headshot variant. Out of all these, and the main reason I have this in this video is I really like the 30th anniversary cover by N. Hock Lee. That's the one I'll be picking up. Brothers Dracul number one. This is from Aftershock Comics. It's written by Cullen Bunn. The legend of Vlad the Impaler is the stuff of nightmares. The inspiration for the most iconic of monsters, Dracula. Vlad tortured and murdered thousands of victims, but what turned him into such a depraved killer? The truth lies in his teenage years when Vlad and his brother Radu were held hostage by the Ottoman Empire. During this time, the brothers learned many things. Archery, writing, the art of combat, matters of court, and how to stalk and slay vampires. There's a regular cover for this. There's also a regular priced variant. Supermansion number one. This comes from Titan Comics and it's based on the claymation show that's on Sony's streaming channel called Crackle. After a battle with the evil Cyclone and his army of identical clones, the League is exhausted. Unfortunately, crime never rests, and they immediately call it to another emergency. Rather than rush off, though, they realize they can use Cyclone's cloning machines to make duplicates of themselves and send them into battle instead. The clones turn evil and start running a riot. And when Black Santa reveals he has spent years developing ways in which to kill the rest of the League in case they ever go rogue, a horrified Rex kicks him off the team. The League is jailed, and it's only when Black Saturn proves his loyalty by breaking in to free them that they find a way to defeat the evil clones once and for all. There's going to have six different covers. There's a regular Jack Elphick cover. There's a t TV show variant. There's a Zach Simmons Hearn variant. There's a Fernando Leon variant. There's a Zach Simmons Hearn regular variant. There's also a Matt Hebb variant. So there you have it. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, April 11th, 2018. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is Brian from Superman's Comics in collaboration with Comic Book Speculation Investing, and I'll see you guys next week.